So we've actually got some really amazing stuff to talk about today. Guys, if you're unaware, though, there has been a teaser in game since the 31st that has alluded to a Bloodhound Town takeover. And today we've actually got some confirmation about the Old Ways lore event with the Bloodhound Town takeover. And on top of that, we've got a video that gives us a bunch of backstory and lore about the Bloodhound character in general as well but guys we have a ton of interesting news today like a ton of it and there is some stuff in here to talk about that we're going to get out of the way at the beginning of the video that i think is going to blow everybody's mind and you're going to be absolutely excited for but i wanted to say that i love that they kept this non-binary theme of bloodhound where you, you can't tell if it's a boy or a girl there's no discernible, uh, you know, or distinguishable body features, and there's no hair. And on top of that, the voice is that of like a 10 to 12 year old. So it's very androgynous and you cannot tell if it is a guy or a girl. So I love that they've kept the character like that. And it, it didn't like give away something that's been a highly contentious topic between Apex Legends fans. Now guys if you're new to the channel smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that i drop a new video and become part of the first hundred thousand floop troop members as well as it pays to actually get notified on this channel because i love doing giveaways in the community tab as well as doing them in videos and like the one i'm doing right now for my birthday as i give away four thousand three hundred and fifty apex coins now if you want to win that giveaway it's pretty simple all you got to do is enter and to enter the video take the next five seconds to like this video then check out the link in the description make sure you check back daily there's multiple ways to enter as well as daily entries so if you're gonna you know win the best bet is to be persistent and the persistent viewers deserve more of a chance but guys Today, we're actually going to be talking about some stuff that I think will make a lot of people happy, including the return of a couple of skins from last year's first event in Apex Legends, the Legendary Hunt. And one of those skins happens to be a Wraith skin that is absolutely insane looking and probably one of the ones that people that started a little bit late are confused on where to get well you can't but you will have a chance once again to get it as well as a few other of these skins will be available as well and you can check them out they're pretty much you know uh, some awesome stuff that we were able to get a hold of in the first event and never get a hold of again but there is bigger news, and I promise to get it out of the way early, and that is we are getting Duos and Kings Canyon back permanently. So now you will no longer have to party up in threes. You can party up with your favorite duo as well as play Kings Canyon in a set rotation all the time. So I think they're really expanding upon Apex Legends here with stuff that we really want, and I, obviously I don't think we'll be seeing solos at any time um as a permanent game mode i'm pretty sure we'll be seeing solos you know come and go as some form of ltm event but the game is really not designed to be played in a solo capacity and that you know that's fine but we've actually got some interesting things that can happen here in the bloodhound town takeover and that is you're actually going to be able to fight waves of prowlers to get more loot similar in a sense to what i would say the zombies in call of duty blackout and now if you're unfamiliar with that there was actually locations where zombies would pop up and if you defeated all the zombies not only did they drop loot off of their bodies but a chest would open up and you could get some extra loot out of it so there is some cool stuff to be happening there now there is obviously a bunch of new skins being added here as well as we've got the young bloodhound skin featured prominently and that is more or less kind of what we see bloodhound wearing at the end of this video now there's also the bloodhound wise warrior skin the charge rifle safety first skin 
Mozambique Morse code, the Ava 8 Copperhead, the Prowler Raven's Watch, the Havoc Redemption, the Watson Static Maiden, Crypto Azure Gaze, and Bloodhound Frame of Exploration available during this event. But I think uh, it's going to be more about the Bloodhoundy type stuff, really. And I'm sure a lot of people are going to collect all of these items when given the chance. Now, there is also an event, you know, going on with challenges and some event specific challenge gear. And you can see that stuff here is with a system override event. You'll be able to earn up to a thousand points per challenge set and the challenge set will refresh at a daily rate. Plus, you'll still be able to complete your battle pass challenges at the same time, too. So it does look to be some interesting stuff. A weapon charm in particular, a Gibraltar skin. And I can't even tell what weapon that is, if it's a devotion or if it's a Spitfire. But one of those weapons right there is available to us. And I think it's going to be an interesting situation with this event. I think we've been hoping for something a little bit bigger to be added to the game than what we've been seeing in like the last couple months. Uh, just like, oh, here's Kings Canyon. Ah, I, King I think this was a better one. I don't think we wanted Kings Canyon events. I don't think that was good content. I think just bringing it back and especially with it being in ranked, having it so that people not playing ranked can practice is a very smart idea because it's kind of rough to really think about that you're going into ranked and playing Kings Canyon and then the other map is World's Edge and there's no practice mode for this. Not even, um, you know, just like non um tournament scrims like you would have to actually have like a tournament key and all that stuff and it's just it's not conducive to a good competitive atmosphere in my opinion at least but this is definitely going to be an interesting event guys and i think it's kind of like a beefed up version of the legendary hunt i would hope that we actually would get something cool like you know legend the elite queue again from the legendary hunt that was actually really cool and in, in the fact that it wasn't ranked but it was like it was like ranked is actually really really an interesting topic for me to say the least but guys let me know what you think about this bloodhound event are you going to be playing this and trying to achieve the four thousand points required for these skins and will you be trying to pick up any of the other skins from the previous times like the r301 honored prey that you should be seeing in the store at least at some point i think they call it the bone collector in there too it's not even like the same name like they got all different names and their recolors so i may be picking these up myself as there's apparently going to be some interesting uh type of stuff then I, I think i think i like that i think it's kind of like you know like keeping the original version looking dope and then like these recolors uh you know really cool um yeah so i don't know guys let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh you know what it's that time we've done a thousand this week we need to do another thousand apex coins so if you want to win a thousand apex coins make sure in your comment you add in your xbox playstation or origin along with hashtag floop and your region and if you're the lucky winner i'll message you in game on your platform and hook you up with a thousand apex coins so that you can be a little bit more prepared for this event now a big thing guys is check the link in the description that is the new channel it's where I'm going to be doing podcasts, sitting down with different content creators. We're trying to push to a thousand subscribers so that can kind of just really get the channel moving forward upon the release of, you know, the first video and, you know, to try and keep a high momentum, you know, high profile channel going there with some interesting, you know, topics and talking to some interesting people. So if you would like to help out with that, make sure you do and always check me out on twitter it's where i keep you know posting all the video updates and any funny nonsense that i come across as well as reading your guys's tweets and you know other things and that you know just kind of keeping in touch with the community 
that is not currently in Discord, which if you want to hop in Discord, the link is also in the description and you can come hang out with the Floop Troop that is getting towards 500 strong online at any given time in Discord. Make sure you say hello if you hop in and if nobody greets you, just wait a little while because there's going to be somebody that will greet you shortly. But guys, I'm going to end the video here with the end of this Bloodhound lore and then I'll throw two more videos up on the screen you can check out if you feel so inclined but thanks for watching thanks for liking thanks for subscribing and 50,000 legendary floops thank you just thank you